very small video. It's something like the 16th of June 2019 and I'm still in winter clothes by the way, though it is warming up a bit. We've had horrendous weather and it's going to continue apparently. Rain and wind. So, um, here in the wind. There's two like husky dogs roaming about. I don't know who they belong to. I thought they were with a woman a minute ago. They seem to have come back up again. I don't know who they're with. They're coming back towards me. I'll video them. Here they come. Look, they're probably with somebody further back. Hello, who are you with? Do you know? Having fun in the woods like old wolves. Having fun in the woods. I've been checked it all out. Anyway, I thought I'd do a small video of the woods. I haven't been up here for two weeks. The weather has been really, really awful. Like mainly a lot of rain. So uh, I'm very, very windy, and it still is. But I thought, no, today I walked from around my new place along the seafront, taking lots of photos on the route up past um, near Burnbeck Pier, and uh, and entered um, this end of the hill fort. I'm keeping. I'm hoping there's no thunder and lightning, although it is predicted at some point somewhere. Um, because um, the trees are offering me shelter from the rain at the moment. I don't know what the video I sound like though. Because it is very, very windy. But like I said, I haven't been up here for a couple of weeks now. And uh, I just go over this way. No, the last walk I did over this way was um, I might have walked back through the wood on one of my walks to Sand Bay. That's a possibility that that happened. This is um, the far end of the fort, up the Burnbeck Pier end. Even though I said it's cold and windy, it's not really cold actually. It's quite clammy. It's quite clammy, but it's, you still got to wear like clothing to protect you from the rain and, and everything. And if you were to stop for too long, you'd get cold. So it's gray, it's blowy. There's heavy showers here and there, sometimes hell. And I've got a heavy head. I've had this heavy head for a couple of weeks now and we've had thunder and lightning. Um, I'm expecting that more to come later in the afternoon, actually. And I'll be home doing my dinner by then. And watching TV and doing computer work. So here we are. It's a common view I do when I come this way. Sand Bay over there. Sand Point. Wells over there. Sugarloaf Mountain isn't quite so visible in the distant mist at the moment. And it looks right at the moment. There was quite a heavy storm, um, wind and rain a second ago, and I sheltered, letting it pass. I would have got soaked if I'd been on the seafront, although nowhere, no doubt I would have found somewhere to duck under out the way. Um, so I thought we'd just do a little video. It's, um, like I say, 16th of June. And... Um, we certainly haven't had a heat wave yet. We had ours way back, it was the end of March, April, I think. And uh, it was in April when we had that massive re record breaking heat wave. And we're paying for it now by having all this rain. The trees are loving it, the plants are loving it, loving it. They say, God, this is lush. Don't you? Oh, it does feel thundery though. My head's very heavy. <sighs> yeah. 
I've missed coming up here though to get my oxygen. <sighs> I really have. But I think living nearer the seafront actually provides cleaner air in some ways because um, the wind coming off the sea all the time. <sighs> Just feels like it could thunder any minute now actually. It's got that when the wind drops. I'm in a terrible place for a storm, to be quite honest. I don't normally take rest, that's why I haven't been out. Oh, I thought, I've got to get out. <sighs> got to get out. I'm not doing a massive walk in the wood. I'm really in, I'm going to head for Tesco's before it shuts. It's a Sunday, you see. It's Father's Day, actually. But it feels like it's going to thunder any minute. <laughs> it's got that feeling about it. And it's going to bucket down. Look, here it comes, everyone. I'm going to go over this way. I can feel the heat. I'm going to go over this way to perhaps get a bit more shelter. Well, it's all overgrown there. Since I was here last, I come here all year round, don't forget. And when I lived just down the foot of the hill fort, I was up here a lot. Now I'm over the other side, of the other end of the beach, if you like. I'm closer to uphill. It don't really take long to get here. It's not as if I've moved to another town or anything, you know? So, it is still, what's it say here? Restoration of historic limestone grassland taking place with marked off areas. We, are, we ask you kindly to refrain from treading through this area for the next few weeks so that any new growth is given a chance to thrive. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, that's the first time I've seen that. So this is the grassland they're talking about. I thought I used to be a lot of thistles, so I'm not going to walk through it anyway today because um, I'm going to keep where there's more likely for me to get protection from the rain if I need it. Even though you're not supposed to go shelter under a tree in a storm. Yeah, they're doing a lot of work up here. There's little paths everywhere though, that takes you around the back of the fort. This is the open area. Under this grassland, what, what I think they should also put there, which I think is very important, which they haven't done, because people will roam off, I'm sorry, but they should have a warning sign. Because potted throughout all of that are pit, pits, deep pits from the Iron Age era. And I think they should really have put a sign up saying beware of ho holes in the ground because, you know, you get a five-year-old running off, they're gonna disappear, aren't they? They go running into the grass. And before you know it, they've, they're down there. I mean, I know where a lot of the holes are. But people visiting here, coming on holiday, they won't know. Oh, it's very stormy, isn't it? I mean, it's all very beautiful, but I can feel the heat. <sighs> I'm not going to panic yet. I will panic if there's a crack. Or if there's a flash, then I will, I will panic. Yeah, well. Now, things, I used to collect a lot of the stones at one time. See, there's a pit there, look. It is quite deep as well. That would scare a child if they fell in it and they could hurt themselves they might be clearing them so you can see looks like they have there look so that people do know look at that over there look right i'm going to turn off for a minute folks and take some photos